Okay, this is Tony. I uh, uh, was on the internet uh, and I saw this 8-bit uh, guy uh, to make this little LCD screen that's programmable without any Arduino or any other uh, little CPU. Everything uh, is used uh, is just as described in a few seconds here, but I'm gonna I want to give the 8-bit guy uh, credit that he's the one who inspired me to make uh, basically the same thing and he did it with a, s a small little modification okay so this is what I did so here's my box and I'm gonna tilt it a little bit so it's maybe a little bit better focus and uh, basically uh, as you can see there is eight switches on the bottom which are the bits so bit 0 through 7 uh, bits don't start with 1, they start with 0, there is no 10. Uh, this switch here, uh, when the first four switches are down, if you follow my uh, my layout, uh, and the next four switches are all in upper position, and then this selector switches to the left, and you push this uh, button here, which reads whatever is this, and that tells the uh, little LCD that to, give it, to give you a cursor. Then you flip it to the right, uh, and then now you can uh, program some bits into it and when you push a button uh, in this case it's an M okay uh, now I'm going to show you how I made mine uh, the one other thing I did is uh, this is just a standard little project box uh, this I uh, digged out uh, using in a, a snipping tool which I'll uh, show in a second and then this dial here is a potentiometer uh, that makes the screen darker and lighter. I'm going to demonstrate. So I fade it out and now I can make it as bright as like that so you couldn't even read it. So this is about the right adjustments on it. You can have this potentiometer underneath. It doesn't have to be on the top. But I put it on the top so it's easier. The other thing I did is I put in four set screws. Uh, I'm going to unscrew these. Uh, I'll show you how I did that. And uh, uh, I'm going to take the cover off so you can see that the only thing that is in here is uh, there's no computer and by the way as you can see this says on uh, up there and off in here and it's reversed so I'm not going to flip it around I had trouble with that switch so I, I ran out of switches so this is what the back looks like and you're going to wire this exactly as on the 8-bit guys uh, web pages which is this layout right here but let me move this a little bit around uh, and then what I did is I uh, also printed I screenshotted his screen to get this part also so um, and then the next thing you want to do is you want to make sure that your the back side of your uh, LCD display uh, follow pin number one uh, I also have hooked up these to the ground uh, and 5 volt uh, uh, for the backlit and so my my backlit uh, is on and then the contrast is then controlled uh, by the potentiometer uh, which is this uh, enabled uh, one right here so uh, I'm sorry uh, contrast control I'm sorry I don't forget that this control contrast control as you can see I uh, put in here that I use the potentiometer uh, to the the left like to the plus the right to the minus and the center point is what goes actually to this pin number three in this case it's this one right here so uh, uh, except for the hot glue uh, I just used wires as you can see and then I hot glued the uh, wires in place uh, because I soldered everything to the header and I didn't want when I'm opening it up and closing it uh, I didn't want to show that uh, I didn't want to disturb the wires basically so I, I hot glued everything it's kind of a, a messy but it, uh, it's very practical now these two wires are the power and they are down here uh, I just uh, hot glued uh, uh, actually I didn't hot glue this one uh, I uh, uh, printed a um, 18650 salvage batteries from a laptop and they are hooked up that I'm getting 4.15 volts uh, out uh, so the plus the negatives are connected together and the positives are connected together uh, otherwise it would have been 8.3 uh, volts but I uh, this thing does not like to be much beyond 6 volts the LCD display so make sure that you don't feed it more than 5 volts uh, between 3.5 and, and 5 volts it will work 
at least that's what it works on me. The other thing the 8-bit guy did is he used a capacitor and a, uh, a, a resistor. I don't use those because my uh, uh, this switch in here doesn't need debouncing. It's a really nice little micro switch. As you can see, I just basically cut a little hole, uh, hot glued it here, and on the other side, uh, use the three uh, leads out of it. Uh, and then this is what codes things when you push the button. Uh, it starts writing, as you can see. Right now, there's a bunch of these amps in here. Okay. So how do you do this? So it's very, very simple. Uh, first, what you're going to do is you're going to cut the opening for the LCD display and then put in four screws so you uh, uh, so it fits nicely in the opening. And I told you that I'm going to show you the tool. The tool is called the nibbling tool. And what nibbling tool is this. Let me get the rubber bands off. I keep the rubber bands on the handle so it's so it's shut because I lost the little uh, rubber or a little metal piece. So this is called a nibbling tool. I bought it at the uh, Harborer or Menards, one of these lumber yards. And as you can see, there is this little notch right there where my thumb is. And when I squeeze the handle, so you're going to see that that notch goes down. And so what I did is I drilled big enough hole. Uh, that the square gets through and then you just nibble away uh, based on the lines that I draw uh, on a little I put a blue tape masking tape on top then I draw out where I'm gonna have everything the other thing I did is I uh, took a screenshot uh, from the 8-bit guy which is this uh, this thing here and I reduced it until it fit on my uh, so the switches fit on my in my box and then I drilled them right there where the uh, where the switches are you know right in the middle I basically just uh, put a drill bit through uh, just big enough for the post to go through and then of course tighten it make sure that all the switches are pointing the same direction uh, and you have to have a switch that is basically uh, uh, has three uh, three ports in a in the back uh, one uh, uh, is going to be connected to the ground and then the second one is uh, the uh, last one is going to be connected to the plus 5 volts and the middle one is connected to the LCD display just like as he shows in the diagram so in here as you can see the bit 0 is connected to uh, pin number I think it's 7 or something like that if you count from left to right uh, okay and so uh, as long as you connect it just like that uh, you'll be fine by the way, here's the contrast potentiometer, where he shows just one wire, but that's the wire that goes to here. The other two wires, the left and the right wire, goes to plus and minus. And it doesn't matter if this one is plus and that one is minus, or this one is minus and this one is plus, okay? Uh, now, on the LCD display, uh, at least the one I used, uh, both ends are negative. Uh, make sure you don't reverse the polarity. You would burn up the LCD display, okay? And then you have this uh, register. Um, uh, uh, switch selector and that's the one here on the left hand side and then that enable which is the push button that's what I use this micro switch for so here let me clear out the screen so I flip this switch to the left I turn the display off and in my case I put all fo first four down and then the next four switches goes up now I turn it on and you're gonna get display like that and then you push the micro switch and now uh, it's ready to have uh, an, a, a digit to put in for, an, a, for a letter. So let's say, for instance, um, uh, for a letter for Tony, so I'm going to do T-O. So uh, it needs to be 0, 0, 1, 0, and then 1, uh, uh, 0, 1, 0. I'm sorry, uh, i go back to the beginning. Uh, so I have two zeros, one, and then zero. The next one is uh, one, zero, one, zero, and I've pushed this. Whoops! It should say T. Hold on, I, I definitely didn't do this right. Uh, oh, ones are down. I, I, I completely reversed everything. So let me do this the in reverse. There we go. Now we should have letter T. There we go. So I uh, put the hex number is in wrong. The other thing I, uh, you can do is you can download uh, this um, 
your LCD panel, the one you're going to use. In my case, I use two lines and 16 characters, so 16 by 2 uh, backlit LCD. And I went to the website and downloaded this uh, sheet. And this tells you basically that if you put in, let's say in this case, 1100, and then uh, uh, that's going to be letter L, then you go up to the top and then you put in 0100. And so those are your hex numbers. Uh, uh, two four digit numbers which are the first four and the last four digit uh, on the switches in here okay so uh, follow his video uh, the only thing I would say is I did differently is I did not have to use uh, the capacitor or the resistor uh, in my case but maybe in your case you will have to depending on if your switch bounces or not and his switches was bouncing but mine does not I push it once and it just appears once uh, I don't have to debounce mine. So that's it. Go see his video and I'll put a shortcut in my video pointing him to his website uh, uh, so you guys can go and, and, and watch it as well and then make sure that you print these things out. Okay? Uh, if you have any questions, ask. I'll try to answer. You have a good day and good luck.